there was this uh, TikTok that I came across by someone named Angie Marie Two. Okay, if you want to look this up, and she titled her TikTok quote "Struggling Leftist." Okay, struggling leftist. And basically in the TikTok, she was talking about how, yes, she doesn't agree with Donald Trump. She doesn't agree with Kamala Harris. In her opinion, you know, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are the same. In her opinion, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, the Dems and the Republicans are just two wings of the same bird. We've heard that so many times before, right? However, seeing the real-time effects of Donald Trump having a platform where six million people can hear him spew freaking lies and that turn into actual potential violence against people, that turns into bomb threats against people, that turns into Haitian immigrants being scared for their lives, right? After seeing that, this quote-unquote struggling leftist is now confused and saying, I have, you know, seeing the real time effects, it's making me question, you know, whether or not I should be voting to, um, what do they call that? Harm reduction. So she was saying that, like, you know, she doesn't want to vote harm reduction because, you know, leftists, oh, you know, they drag harm reduction. And remember, I'm a leftist, too, so I'm not talking shit about people. These are my people. But leftists, a lot of times, will drag harm reduction, like, oh, harm reduction. Oh, the lesser of two evils. And she's like, you know, I don't want to vote just for harm reduction, but now I'm really thinking maybe I need to because I'm seeing that giving this man a platform, if this man gets back into the White House, if this is what he can do with a 30 minute debate. What can he do when he gets back into the White House? And so she's having this epiphany. And I went into the comments and there were all these struggling leftists in the comments agreeing with her. You, I'm, you're right. I feel the same way. I'm feeling super conflicted about not voting for her. I'm feel, be, seeing the damage that he can do in real time. And, you know, of course, my first instinct is to be like, uh, we fucking told you, bro. We literally told you this, you know, we literally told you this, but deeper on a deeper level leftists undecided leftists i want y'all to understand you need to understand and learn the difference between political rhetoric and political reality political rhetoric serves a purpose political reality is what we actually have to deal with this phrase, you know, they're just the same. They're just two two wings on the same bird is not fucking true. That is political rhetoric. OK, we use those types of words and that language. We speak hyperbolically. We use exaggeration and hyperbolic language in order to convey a message, in order to make people feel discomfort, in order to wake people up. That's why we use strong language like there's no difference difference between Kamala and Donald. There's no difference because it's serving a purpose to wake people up. It is supposed to be jarring, but it is only political rhetoric because the reality is Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are not the same. Kamala Harris would not be on national TV telling people that Haitian immigrants are eating cats and dogs. Kamala Harris would not be on national TV telling people that Democrats are forcing you to pay for transgender inmates surgery, the reassignment surgery while they're in jail. Kamala Harris would not be bold faced lying to your face and not just saying any type of lies, but lies that she knows will enact will set up an environment that jeopardizes people and puts people in danger because that's what that that's what donald trump is doing he's not saying you know they're eating cats and dogs for fun he's saying it so that his followers can go out and terrorize these people and injure and hurt these people that's what the hell he's saying it for that the democrats aren't doing that the democrats didn't ban abortion and I know there's some people out there who will be like, well, it was it was banned under them. Yeah, you need to take a freaking civics class, yo. So you can understand how the government works and how the branches of the government work. The Democrats are not out here banning abortion. The Democrats are not out here trying to lower the age of consent so that we can have more child brides out there. They're not trying to... Um, 
send women back into, into the kitchen and take away their rights? They're not trying to uh, disenfranchise voters. The Democrats are talking about getting y'all health care. The Democrats are talking about um, making sure that people can buy homes and take care of their children. And y'all are sitting here saying that Democrats and Republicans are just the same. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are just the same. Once again, y'all need to learn the difference between political rhetoric and political reality. Talk your shit. Talk that shit. But when it comes to actual actions, you need to pay attention to what's really happening. And what's really happening is that the Republicans are dangerous for this country. The Republicans will take away women's rights. They will take away black people's rights. They will take away all of our fucking rights if you're not a white man, a white cishet Christian man. They are not the same, <laughs> okay? And so I need leftists, undecided leftists, I need y'all to recognize that talk and action are two different things. And so you can talk your shit, but you have to recalibrate when it comes to actual actions, okay? And harm reduction may not be sexy, Choosing the lesser of two evils may not be sexy, but it matters because real people's lives depend on it. Haitian people, we are now scared in this country because that man got on online, got on the on network TV and lied about us. So undecided leftists, be very careful how you move moving forward and make sure that you can stand behind everything that you're that you stand behind.